So today's video is going to be on how to make these custom chip bags. This is actually one of my highly requested videos and I made these chip bags for my niece's sixth birthday party. Everyone absolutely love them. And not only did I do the custom chip bag, but I also included custom wrappers for her crispy treat bars. And that was super cute. Everything was really cohesive because her theme was unicorn. I also created her a custom menu. So let's get into the design process. Here you can see that I have Photoshop open, but you do not need Photoshop. You can use Canva, which is a free service. And they do have an upgraded service that you can pay for in case you want to upgrade your account. But pretty much Photoshop and Canva can do the same thing to achieve this look. Uh, also, I have guidelines here to kind of divide how I want the images or where I want the images to be placed. but when I screen recorded this you cannot see the guideline so basically I divided it into three so that I know what's going to go on the back and what's going to go on the front so I typed a barcode on Google and these are the images that's popped up so once you get a view of that you can just pick which one works best for you also I put birthday nutrition facts just to get something that was kind of similar to like a bag of chips but something that was like birthday theme so I found this really cute one and I decided to add that to the back of the bag of chips um, also you can see at the bottom I put the type of chips so I can write it in but you don't have to do that that was just something I did because the chips that we provided was just like a variety um, so this is overall the design process and I'm just going to print it out um, in case you are wondering I'm using the HP NV5010 this Printer only cost me $30 at Office Depot and I got it on a Black Friday. So this is like a really great printer and you can save a lot of money on the ink. So I have my chips and my tape and all my other type of stuff. You can see that I cut out the border at the top and bottom with my scissors, but I left the white edges on the other side because that's the part that we're going to overlap. So I'm just overlapping it to see if it's where I need it to be placed. Um, also having this roller tape is amazing. It makes the process of taping your chip bag together super easy. But if you don't have that, you can use double sided regular tape that you can just pull and um, detach. But I feel like it takes longer if you do that. So I'm going to leave a link to that Amazon double sided tape that I showed you guys before and then you can go ahead and purchase that but if you don't have it you can go to the 99 cent store and use double stick tape and just place it like i am in this video so i'm taping the back side because that's the part that we're going to overlap and then i am going to take my tape and put tape at the top and bottom because this is where we're going to seal our bag Next, I am putting my bag of chip in the middle and I am going to take the sides and just overlap them. And you can see here that I'm overlapping the white edges and I pressed it down. Next, I am going to press down the bottom of the bag and just seal that. And then last but not least, I am going to seal the top. Now the paper that I am using is brochure paper and this one is a little on the thicker side. It's not too thick, but it is kind of thick. And I have a thinner one that's really similar to a bag of chips. So I'm going to leave the link for both of them. One is thinner, one is thicker. I'll label them in the description so you guys can check it out. But when you're done, this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, the bags were really easy to open for the guests and like I said, everybody really loved them. So here's the back of the bag of chips that I didn't get to show you guys in the beginning of the video. This is pretty much what it looks like. Also, if you want your bag of chips to look a lot more realistic, um, you do have that option of using a paper crimper and that gives the edges that crimped edge just like a bag of chips but I decided not to do that for mine and I just did the glitter on those top and bottom edges and I think it looked just fine so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial 
So if you made it to the very end of this video, congratulations. I just want to quickly, quickly show you guys some amazing products that I've received recently. I did do an upload on this product and a lot of you guys have been stating to me that you have not been getting notifications for some of my new uploads, which is very unfortunate. So I felt the need to take the opportunity and kind of reshare some of these amazing products that I've received. And I'm going to leave the link down below for that other video in case you have not seen it. I got um, a lot of amazing products from small businesses. And one of the businesses that I'm sharing today is by Nor Gold. They have some amazing facial products, body scrubs and soap, and everything is 100% natural and organic. And because the holidays are coming up, I know a lot of you guys are looking for gifts to give to friends and family. And this is pretty much perfect to give to anyone because, like I said, everything is 100% natural. Um, I shared these items with some of my siblings and they absolutely love them. So I'm going to leave the link down below for the other video in case you haven't seen it. And also Norgold website so you can go ahead and shop and grab their items. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today where we made some custom bag of chips. If you guys have any requests for other videos, please let me know in the comment down below and I can fulfill those requests. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye! Below 